In this video, we will do a quick overview of the advanced search and browse functions. From the home page, click on advanced search. This allows you to further filter your results in more exact details. And as you fill out the available fields, the database builds your search query for you. If you click on the drop down box to the right, you can limit your results by author, item title, abstract, or caption. So if we go back to our research question from part one, I wanted to look at the role of black soldiers in the Civil War. But now I want to limit my results by item title. So I'm going to type in Civil War. Again, put my quotation marks around it because I want it read as a phrase. I'm going to select item title. This is where you would select your uh, Boolean operator and or a not. But I want to look at uh, black soldiers. And I again put that in uh, quotation marks to read that as a phrase. And I selected the and Boolean operator. So what I'm telling it is I want them to find both of these keywords together in the title. So now I can click on Submit Advanced Search. As you see how the database uh, built my search query in the search box, it has the TI for title, saying find Civil War in the title, Black, Black Soldier in the title, and that brought back 67 results. It brought back uh, here on the left side, you see there's journal, 44 journal articles, and book chapter articles, and I can just look through this and as you look at all the different titles you see where it has uh, black soldier somewhere in the title now i can go back now here on the right side of the screen if you need to go back and make any changes to your um, search query you just click modify search now also um, from part one i want to look at black soldiers or colored infantry and, and civil war. Now when you are um, when you're using the OR um, Boolean operator you want to group uh, that query together. So with this one I'm actually going to change. I want to put um, black soldiers and the color infantry first and then I'm going to do OR for, um, for colored infantry. And now you have this add box function. With this add box function, you can add as many keywords as you need. I recommend you use no more than maybe three or four keywords. Um, whatever your research question is, try to break it down in no more than three or four keywords at a time. And now I'm going to use and Civil War. Now notice I'm going to leave all of them, all fields. And you know, I, I could try to search for a title. Um, but right now I'm going to I'm gonna just leave it all fields. And I put Black Soldier and Color and Infantry first because I want to make sure that that search query is, is built separately from the and. And now I submit, um, submit advanced search. And you see how it built it up here in the top. In the uh, basic search box, it has Black Soldier and Colored Infantry. That means I want to find articles that contain both of these and Civil War together. And it brought back 1,600 um, results. And you can see how the uh, keyword is highlighted in yellow with all the um, with all the findings that came back. And over here on the side gives you how you can refine results if I just want to look at journals or book chapters. And again, I can go back to modify um, search results. What else is available on the advanced searches? You may want to limit stuff by item type. Maybe you just want to look at articles or reviews or research reports. You can do that. You even have the option to choose different languages. Maybe there is something that you're looking for and it's not in English. You can limit that. Again, it, this is your publication um, range. You can do that. 
Um, maybe you are looking for a Pacific Journal title. Um, you can type in the title or book title here, and maybe you even have an ISBN number. You can enter that there. This option right here allows you to narrow by discipline your search results. And so um, if you're looking for something in African-American studies, you can do that. And this carrot right here also uh, further expands uh, journals that come under African-American studies. Now, if you go under the browse option here, you see you can browse by subject, title, or publisher. Now, if I click on subject, all of the subjects that are covered in uh, JSTOR are right here. And let's say I want to look at uh, what publications we have available in the history. You see the three tabs here. Um, it has uh, 351 journals in JSTOR, uh, books. I click on the book tab. Over 34,000 history books in JSTOR and there are also pamphlets. You can search that way. By title, as you can actually search for a Pacific Journal book research a report a pamphlet by its title and all of the titles are listed in alphabetical order and let's say you you are looking for a specific title and you know it starts with the letter L you can just click L here and all of our journals that are under that start with the letter L will be listed here in books and research reports and pamphlets and so on now publisher is also um, something that you may need to look for and all publishers that are in JSTOR will come on here and basically you can just click on a, a journal a journal publishing it just gives you an overview of the publisher's subscription their website and address information and what journals are um, are published by by that uh, publisher so that is a quick overview of the advanced search and browse option. If you have any further questions about this database, please come by the library. The reference desk is open from 8.30 to 9 p.m. Our hours are listed on the library homepage here on the left, on the right bottom. Um, we are open on the weekends as well. 8.30 to 9 Monday through Thursday, 8.30 to 5 on Fridays, 11 to 5 on Saturdays, and 2.30 to 9 o'clock on Sundays. You can also send us a chat if you uh, are off campus or anywhere in the library and you just want to send us a quick chat question, you can do that. And you also have the option to schedule an appointment, a one-on-one -on -one appointment with the librarian. Happy searching!